What's up guys, Jason here. I am back again down in the nerd lair. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I sell junk on eBay out of my basement here. It's usually low value items. I don't do this full time. I do have a real job elsewhere. I'm just running a micro eBay store. But if you're curious to see what I sold in the last week or so, stick around. We're jumping right into this. All right, getting us started here. I sold three Xbox 360 games. Just listed these recently, just a few days ago. It's a little dark over here in the micro eBay store. There's something wrong with this light bulb socket here. I might need to look at having that fixed. It's been burning out bulbs pretty quickly. This is going to be Lost Planet, Mirror's Edge, and Prey. Cheap games. These three sold for $15 even. I should still be in first class. Again, I have a $1.07 invested of each of those. Going to get those packed up and ready to go now. Sold my first high value item in a while. This is going to be a Nintendo 3DS XL. And it's the Link Between Worlds edition. It sold for $288 with free shipping. I'd love to sit here and say I found this at a thrift store for 10 bucks, But no, I purchased this from Walmart when it first came out for about $199 plus maybe $14 on tax. I've just been sitting on this hoping that it would go up in value. It didn't really skyrocket as a rare item, but I am making about $30 off of it. I'm happy with that profit. This is a really nice product. I have one for myself that I'll show footage of here. Zelda uh, Link Between Worlds is a great game. The 3DS XL is an amazing system, and this special edition is just super nice. So yeah, it is a high value item, but I'm not making a ton off of it, and actually have a big empty spot on my shelf now as I've been using it as a decoration. You can see the dust on it. Next up is going to be a book which I don't sell many of just because I don't have many of them and I rarely pick them up. But this is going to be Mouse Part 1. It sold for $7.80. I will be shipping this with media mail. After I sold it, I got kind of nervous because I was like, oh crap, if I schedule a pickup, they won't do media mail. But I did a little bit of research on that and as far as I can tell, if I'm having them pick up another package that's either priority mail or that is going to be first class mail, they will pick up media mail with that. They just won't come only for media mail. Um, that's my understanding of what's going on with that. And I have slipped in media mail packages with other bundles in the past and they, they've picked them up fine. So let me know if you have any experience with that. Just sold another PS3 lot. It's going to be three games and this is a Battlefield lot. This franchise is more or less worthless. It's going to be Battlefield 4, 3, and Bad Company. These sold for $12.25. I'm clearing about 75 cents. That's not important. What's more important is to get my capital back on these and clear up some shelf space. Once I start reaching the end of this lot or the last few games from this large PS3 lot, I'm not going to be making a ton of profit on them, but it is nice to get the capital back. I sold another World War II letter. If you haven't seen my last few videos, I bought a lot of vintage handwritten World War II letters from a woman to either her husband or boyfriend. I'm still diving into the con uh, content to see what exactly is going on. But this sold for $5. I'm just going to ship it in letter mail for $0.50. Cents. Um, this one is not as interesting as the last one I sold, but I am marketing these with a little bit of mystery, an element of mystery to it. And this one mentions some family drama. Apparently she is getting bossed around by her mother and stuff like that. Super comical. I enjoy reading them and then listing them. Five bucks, I'll get that shipped out today. Just sold my second copy of Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge for the Wii U. This sold for $8.57. It is new and sealed. Free shipping, not making a ton on this, but I'm happy to filter it out of my collection. Just sold an item that I listed probably a month and a half ago. It's a General Electric cassette player that I found in a thrift store. I initially purchased this for $6 plus tax. It just sold for $27 even, free shipping. It is very heavy. I'll still make a few dollars and I'm happy to get rid of it. $27. Bucks. 
just sold a single PS3 game. This is going to be God of War 1 and 2 in a cardboard sleeve, not for resale version. You can see the micro eBay store here is really shrinking down. I'm going to grab the whole stack of these for now because I want to retake the picture for this listing and find the cleanest one for this current buyer. I sold this for $12.50. I have a little bit more invested into it than I would prefer, but I'm glad that I sold one. Just sold another Xbox 360 game. This one sat and sat and sat, and all I could do was keep lowering the price. It's gonna be Assassin's Creed 2. Sold this for $5.55. I usually don't try to sell games for that cheap, but I started at probably $6.50 with no bites over two or three months. My only option was to lower the price. Those do a lot better when they're in small lots though. Sold another single game for the Xbox 360. This is gonna be Guitar Hero 2 disc only. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I only have a few disc only games at the moment. There we go. And this sold for $6.10. Just gonna wedge this in between two pieces of cardboard, put a little bubble wrap on it, and then ship it at four ounces. Super cheap. Still doubling my money on that. I have about $1.07 invested in it. $6.10. So that was all my sales for the last week or so, guys. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out. I'll see you next time. Bye.